in terms of like technology and women's health in particular, and then I'll let each and every one of you answer this as well, where do you see the big opportunities uh, in the combination of virtual health for women? Yeah, so I, I'll just give you some practical things that we've done that we're, we're already doing and it's going to stick around forever. So gestational diabetes or pregnancy induced diabetes is a big problem. It's actually a, a, a problem that we've struggled to find a scalable solution for the 20 years that I've been in practice. Yeah. Due to the pandemic, we switched that to a virtual program. And we now have between 20 and 30 um, patients attending a virtual diabetes program all online. It works so much better. Um, we will do that forever. We replicated that with our prenatal Lamaze uh, mm -hmm. prepared childbirth class program. Instead of having all the patients come to our office in a free program on Tuesday nights, now we're offering that virtually. It's way better and the attendance has skyrocketed. That will stick around, around forever. Mm -hmm. I also think the, the ability to do sort of in the moment um, mm -hmm. switching from triage to a virtual visit has worked very well. So my medical assistants can take the call. If it's something very simple, they can solve it. If not, it can be switched to a point of care virtual visit. And, mm -hmm. and that's been very convenient for the doctors and the patients. Yeah. I think that sticks around as well. I, and my last comment is I do think we're seeing an evolution in, in content generation. Mm -hmm. And again, <laughs> pandemics and things like this cause these seismic shifts. And so, some of these will stick around, uh, some of them will evolve. Um, but I see physicians using things like TikTok in, in really? really effective ways. Um, there's a few that I've seen that have done just some hilarious uh, and some really touching moments as well. Well, now, I mean, we need to bring them on. I mean, like, is I... TikTok going to be the way? Yeah, they're good. They're really, really good. I... And um, you know, uh -huh. I think you have that. You also have some negative use of social media, and sure. and so I think we'll we'll continue um, that tension, and and hopefully end up in a in a good spot. Um, but I do think the the physician use of social media channels, and the ability, to, as you said, broadcast. I, I do think we'll see some evolution there that sticks around post pandemic. <laughs>